This tutorial explains how you can use your projector in your classroom as an extended monitor. Why would you want to do that? Well, we all know by now that there's a problem in Google Meet with seeing both your students and whatever it is that you're presenting to them. In the past, we've recommended that teachers join their Google Meets twice to solve this problem. What we've discovered is that causes a bandwidth problem at the schools. So we have a better solution now. Using your projector as an extended monitor will allow you to see both your students and what you're presenting using only one device. This video does assume that you already know how to connect your teacher Chromebook to your classroom projector. If not, we do have a video about that. Um, you can also reach out to one of the DLCs for help. If you've been using your teacher Chromebook to connect to your projector, then when you plug in, your Chromebook will automatically mirror, which means that what's on your Chromebook screen and what's on your projector will be the same thing. So that means you need to go turn mirroring off. And that's really easy to do. You just go to your Chromebook keyboard and you're going to press the control key and the new window button, which is right above the number five on the top row. Once I have connected my Chromebook to the projector and made sure that mirroring is turned off, the next step is to get my tab set up. So you can see I have two tabs created here in my Chrome web browser. The first one is my Google Meet, and I have two students who have joined me so far. And my other tab is what it is that I want to present to my students today. So for this example, I'm using the Numberline app from Bridges Math. And so I'm going to take whichever those two tabs I want to go onto my projector, and I'm going to tear it off and move it over to my projector screen my extended monitor. So I, I'm going to do the number line. I'm going to hold down on the tab, keep holding down while I drag it off to the right. And after a couple of seconds, you will see the number line on your projector screen and just see the meet window on your Chromebook screen. When I'm ready to start presenting to my students, I go down to the bottom corner to get the present now button. And sometimes it takes me a minute to find my cursor. It's over on the other monitor. So I just keep dragging to the left until it shows up. I click on present now. And when the list of choices comes up, you want to be sure to choose the second one in the list, a window. And then you can choose which one do you want on uh, to present to students. It would be the number line. So now my students are seeing the number line, and that's what I'm seeing on my projector screen. But on my Chromebook screen, I can still see my students. Now, there is no way to get rid of that. You're presenting to everyone. Stop presenting. Um, it does still take up a good half to two thirds of the screen. But on the right, you will see a list of your students. So this way, you can see your students and present to them using only one device.